So today we've come out to find a, another couple of the old Camp Mountain mineshaft tunnels. So there's a small creek bed just off the left hand side of Link Break or Link Road. It is a very cool creek. It might be slippery here and when it's raining. So the instructions I've got um, says that we have to climb a small rock face. I'm assuming that is the small rock face we have to climb. Do you reckon that's it? Oh, you know what, I'm going to keep this on in case I fall. No, I didn't bring my drone. What did you bring? It's a really beautiful little rock formation here. Be fantastic when it's raining. Be a really good waterfall. We're having a bit of trouble finding this mine that Harry's just pointed out. This dam or something that's been built here. We'll go up there and see. I mean, because this is. That's a bloody go, Anna. Yeah. Yeah, that's I was making a noise before. It sounds like a kangaroo. There's a couple of them around. He's a big boy. Is he going up the tree? Who is this? Oh, no, he's going for a run. He's hiding. Isn't it beautiful? So Harry and I are back here a couple of days later. It's raining today. Now on Monday we went down that creek bed there on the left hand side and we should have gone on this creek bed here on the right hand side that goes uphill so today we're going to go up there and see what we can find so we've come up the creek this time and the instructions that I've got we had to meet this cliff face it's about a probably 10 minute walk from the main trail off Link Road uh, not the best day to be climbing up any cliff faces but we'll give it a go oh yeah so once we hit the cliff face, we should be able to see the mines. This is going to be slippery as hell.
there, it looks like he squatted something. What is it? All right, so we're about 30 or 40 meters on the top side of their cliff face. And Harry's just spotted the mine shaft here. All right, cool. So, well, that one's there, and there's meant to be another one. I'm not sure whether it's up above there. But let's have a look at this one here. All right. Well, this only means one thing, Harry. We've got to go in it. Okay. So, you can turn it. Is it filming? Yeah. Yeah. So, I didn't bring a rope, which I meant to bring a rope, because I'm going to go in there first and I just wanted to make sure that Harry would be able to recover my dead corpse if anything did go wrong. But I've got a couple of torches. I'll leave one out here for you, Harry. That's all I'm going to do, is I'll have a look in there first. Look, there's all sorts of good stuff in there. It's pretty dry in here. There is all sorts of stuff. So Harry, my phone's in there. <laughs> if anything horrid goes wrong. All right, you want me to take the camera? You can come. You stay out. Yeah. And then you can come in once I've, I've gone in. I'm not sure whether you can see much there. But there's moths. And how far are you? Hello, moth. You see that moth? That's the floor. It's up on the ceiling. And I'm going to try and get all the way up to the end here. The hell is it? Oh, an animal line up there. So it's actually a decent sized tunnel. I had expected to be climbing on my hands and knees up through here, but I don't have to, I can just hunch over. Not seeing any bats yet. That looks like the end of the wall just there. Yeah, I had expected there to be a bunch. Oh, there's a bat. <laughs> just scared the crap out of me. Hello, bat. There are only little ones. Little micro bats. This is the end of end of the tunnel. I don't know where all these bats are, probably clinging to the ceiling somewhere. Um, so if I turn around, we might be able to get a better idea of the tunnel. There's the butterflies. It's not a particularly remarkable tunnel. This looks like, I'm not sure whether you can see, but there's veins of something in there. That uh, maybe that's what they're looking for. You can see here, there's all sorts of veins within the... I don't know what sort of rock this is. But I'm going to now go back out. I don't really fancy spending too long in here. and I don't want to go touching too much. It is pretty dry in here. If you were looking for a spot to camp out, apart from the bats, this is a pretty good place to, to come into. As you can see, there's more veins of stuff in there. So the tunnel's probably, I don't know, 20 meters deep or 20 meters long. And then it comes out up here. That's pretty cool. Ow, I just hit my head. We should be wearing a crash hat. All right, you wanna go in, Harry? Yeah. So Harry's just going to go and have a look now. Again, just purely out of safety, we are only going in one at a time. Because I don't think it would be wise for both of us to go in there. Yeah, I, I thought we were going to be on our hands and knees. Just watch your head. Oh, there's a bat <laughs> flying around your head. 
was being, <laughs> being attacked by a few. Yeah. So just having a look at these weird markings which are on the on the tunnel. There's some yellow and white paint there and some gold lettering with G B Y with dots next to it. Can't see any others. Alright, so we found the first the first mine shaft. It's up this creek. Apparently there's another one further up the creek here. About 50 or 60 meters up, I've been told. That we're gonna go and have a look at. Getting in a bit more of a jungle type setting. Okay, there is another mine here. Past this big old tree. This one here definitely looks like it's caved in a little bit more. It's got some timber supports in there. Alright, I'm going to go and see if I can find anything in here. Oh, this one's a bit smellier. Actually, it's got a fair bit of smell to it, this one. I'm not actually going to go in any further, mainly because there's water at the end of that. So I don't recommend going into this tunnel. Oh, there's a bat as well. Yeah, that fact that there's water up there means that there's plenty of stuff that's rotting. So when things rot, they produce methane. So I'm not too keen on going in there right now, especially on a day like today. Whoa. Yeah, if you know of any others that are up this way, Send us a message and I'd love to go exploring them. But we're definitely coming up into a bit more jungly kind of lantana region. It's going to be harder and harder to find any mine shafts off the creek bed here without doing some serious bush bashing. I mean, there could be mine shafts up there. Yeah, you're right. That definitely looks like a path, doesn't it? Yeah, it's so overgrown up here, they could be anywhere. It's disgusting. It's crazy that this is so close to Brisbane. Yeah, we could be anywhere right now. Can't hear anything but the birds. Oh, now there's a, an aircraft flying overhead. But yeah, as the crow flies, we're like 10 k's from Brisbane City. Going back past that second mine shaft we discovered. This is the fourth tunnel that I found uh, around this area. There's one near the Ferny Grove Rail Trail. There's one halfway up Sutton Break. And then there's these two off Link Road Break. I think there's nine tunnels in total. So I've got to do a bit more research and see if we can find the rest of those. Just coming back down to the cliff face that we have to climb down, it's very slippery. We could go the long way, but what fun would that be? Yeah, Harry, tell me while I'm going down, okay, sorry. You can go down there and I'll follow you. Yeah, we did. <laughs> I was gonna 
all my white shorts there. And I was like, yeah, maybe not the best idea. <laughs> Parkour. There you go, success. That's okay. So here, try and break your GoPro. Go Pro. It's alright, I'm fine. I didn't fall. Good face and not a bad little waterfall. Yeah.